Hi, I'm Max. And I'm Ryan. And we're, I don't know if you've noticed, we're going to be talking about the latest superfood. It's in everything. It's quinoa. And it's even now in sushi. We've got the yeah. chicken katsu with avocado. And you can actually see you've got the quinoa embedded in the rice around the roll. This one is sushi quinoa with salmon and tuna. So I've got two sets. Oh. Oh, that, that looks good. Yeah. Nice and fresh. Yes. It's so nice good. Yeah. Yeah. I painted the first bite. Let's get some fresh in there. And ow. Mmm. How is it? Mmm. 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 Alright. Mmm. Mmm. Well, it's certainly more more to chew, more to chew on. It feels fuller. Mm. It's uh, crunchier, definitely crunchier. It is crunchy. I'm not sure if it's better though. And sushi to me is supposed to be fresh, and and I think it has that. It's still fresh, yeah, but it is very fresh, and it's refreshing to have. I, I, I wouldn't agree with you on that. I don't think it is refreshing to have. It just feels like a whole lot of ch tiny little balls in your sushi. Yeah, but... Uh, and not like the good kind. But uh, it is a bit crunchier than usual. It's definitely crunchier. Yeah, but okay, taste-wise, go. I think um, it is pretty good. No. Okay, so this is the triple loaded wasabi soy sauce ginger sushi with quinoa. Is that, you can see Ryan's ass in that shot. <laughs> so we do a triple stack. We got wasabi, soy sauce, and ginger. I mean, I love the, the, the traditional toppings of the ginger, yep. the wasabi, the soy sauce, but there's the underlying crunchiness of quinoa. Yeah, so it's, it's not doing lot, it for me. It's a lot crunchier. It's a lot crunchier. Than, uh, regular sushi. It's in my teeth. It's just, it's not, it's not, it's not doing it for me. Mm -hmm. um, so, final final score out of ten, how many uh, how many stars do you to give this? Um, in my opinion, uh, I would say. Six? Six out of ten. Uh, yeah, and I also think that the people who are making it were not actually Japanese. That could have So that you that lost a star. Yeah, that, did, a star. that did cost them wow, a star. Wow, what a what a racist star that is. Oh, no, that just because they're not Japanese. <laughs> you you they can't they can't make sushi. What about me? Can I make sushi? Can you make sushi? Uh you? Uh, I I highly doubt it. What? Oh, that's my next challenge. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm giving it three out of ten. I was not that satisfied. That is with hard. It. That's harsh, but it's true. Like everything was great about it, but the main ingredient, on the, uh, uh, other than the rice, the quinoa was just not doing it for me. Mm. No. Um, anyway. So yeah. you can get, if you want to get try the sushi for yourself, you can get some from your local mm. Woolworths. It's called Sushi Izu. Yeah. No, I think it's not in every Woolworths, but in selected Woolworths. So do check it out on their website. Yeah. Yeah, if it's not available at your local store. Yeah, and I think it's a great concept. I think no, they, they, some of their other ones are really nice. Yeah, so it, it is. And also, like, it came out last year. Mm, yeah, it's, it's been a while. Fresh sushi from your Woolworths. They've even had some, uh, they've got a fruit sushi at the bottom yeah, at the moment. Yeah, so which was that. pretty. That's our sushi funky. in Kingwa review. Yeah. Uh, please let us know what you think in the comments. If you liked it, did you enjoy it? What flavor, what different varieties you enjoyed? And also let us know what other things you would like us to review next. Yeah. Um, yeah. Of course, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's put that up. Uh, you actually need to learn how to use chopsticks. Thank, thank you, Ryan. Thank you. you know? no, let's do that again. Let's do that again. Ready? Wow. <laughs> <laughs>